Okay, yeah, I'm on. Um, and this is set on ordinary, uh, ordinary VGA as. Now let's see, what parts do I want to go over? <clears throat> this isn't something I usually do. Uh, this has to do with the story I'm writing right now. I'm trying to look for a part I feel like going over. Uh, the story has Brian Griffin in it, and uh, also has Feifel and Danny Mouse, or not Danny Mouse, Danny, I, I didn't really explain that, um, it, it's I as a Pikachu, uh, <laughs> as Earlier in the story I'm writing, we run into Stewie having pushed the um, random slash the scramble button on our trans-dimensional portal thing. We can actually it's like handheld. Uh, we we can hold it and you know punch in like a number. Um, where we can like punch in where we're going, and if we've already been out of place, it actually like uh, saves it. And this way. Um, it's like a video introduction of the story that I'm writing a second part, which is, uh, oh gee, I was actually stoned <laughs> oh, when I wrote the first half of this, <laughs> and this half I'm not actually, um, I'm not actually putting it in because, well, I didn't actually smoke any, and that's why I'm not putting it in, it's not like a big bummer or anything. It just I'm not putting it in because I did, wasn't smoking pot before I started writing this file. Uh, Fievel and Denny telling stone stories too. That would mean we there. There's a, a little bit of mention about weed in it, and that's about it. And I'm like look <clears throat> looking over. It. Um, <clears throat> darn it, looking over trying to. Trying to figure out, uh, uh, let's see, um, Fievel and Denny find themselves in a different place. Denny recognizes this place from his days of being human. He knew this place to be Spooner Street in a place called Kohog, Rhode Island. This cannot be real, basically I thought to myself. I, I mean, Kohog? Only in Family Guy. Reality? Nah. <laughs> Pretty much I'm like thinking, no, this can't be real. <laughs> uh, but I mean, uh, uh, there was a, a certain furry that thought it was kind of cool that I did a, um, I did a, a video journal, so... I'm kind of doing a little bit of an introduction to the second half of this interesting story. And I'm, I decided I'm going to turn on the camera and do a video clip. Now I'm turned on uh, uh, ordinary VGA mode, which can be easily stretched to ordinary DVD because I only have a, a four, I mean, not a four, a two gig card. Uh, so I only have like 30, 30 minutes on high def. So, so I'm not using high def. It's, it's available to me to use 1080i, but I'm not using it. Coffee, in case you wonder. And it, it's cold. <clears throat> um, let's see, oh guys... I am sorry. No, let's go a little bit. Um, Brian's tongue got itself out of his mouth and licked over my bits. Oh, gods! I'm I am I'm sorry. I just messed up that uh, sentence. Let's see if I can do it again. This is supposed to be Brian saying, and let's see if I could do this sentence correctly this time. <clears throat> oh, gods! I am sorry. Please don't tell no one. 
getting bashful, Brian sniffed at my bits again, trying not to suck on them. His moaning was telling me that all he wanted to do is what something in his morals was saying no about. Come on, Brian. You know you want to. I just want to see what someone else's cum tastes like. I mean, I mean... <laughs> Yeah, it's a little too late for a recovery, Brian. It's okay. Use <laughs> use me, Brian. Taste me. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm just trying to read it. <laughs> um, as a little bit of a spoiler for some of what's in it, uh, and, and I read that with almost absolutely no feeling. That is, it, it's not even. I I'm not even buying it myself. <laughs> uh. I mean, at least I should try to put a little feeling into it if I try to turn this into an audible. <laughs> you know, like an audio book. Uh, nervously, Brian let his tongue escape from his mouth, allowing it to go all over this tasty wit. Huh? Oh, I'm sorry. No, I'm, I'm having problems reading my own. And the thing is, it's I have it at ten. You know, font size is only ten. So, and besides that, I'm having problems doing this while I'm being recorded. Um, <clears throat> nervously, Brian let his tongue escape from his mouth, allowing it to go all over this tasty, way too large mouse. His penis seemed to have a penis taste like his own, just a little different, though. But he stopped himself before quite a sucking me fully. What's the matter? I I don't know. Said, of course, Brian. It's okay, Brian. Don't be nervous about it. Just let your feelings go. Brian groaned a bit as he was about to start again, but then stopped. Basically, this is what's going to be happening next. As I did a whole spoiler... And I can upload this right away, or I could probably upload it to YouTube right away. But I at least need to have a warning in the description to say <laughs> that this is me reading one of my lemons back, if you want to call it a lemon. Uh, I mean, I guess you can call it a lemon. It's an animal and animal, male to male, or triple male to male. It's all the while, as Brian and I are, are pulling around, and I'm, I'm a Pikachu, one of those yellow things from Pokemon... Uh, Fifeful Mousekowitz is in the background staring down Brian's anus. He, he's got a real good view of <laughs> uh, uh, Brian Griffin's backside. <laughs> and he's standing there. Uh, his certain bits are getting erect as he's liking the view he's seeing. <laughs> um, what was it going to say? Oh, the spoiler that I'm that's getting there. Oh, yeah, that is the spoiler. That that's kind of, kind of getting there. As, oh, I remember what I was going to say. The the last sentence that I read of this, um, as Brian had stopped. Now uh, where is it? Brian groaned a bit as he was about to start again, but then stopped. See, uh, he looks behind him at Fifo and. Asks, are you going to just stand there? Fifo is, uh, I'm going, I believe I'm going to say Fifo is a bit speechless at first. And then opens his mouth and says, uh, well, I was thinking possibly that I would masturbate. <laughs> and then Brian nervously says, well, I, I guess you, you could, uh, you could use me. <laughs> Oh, you could use me if if you really want to. <laughs> so, uh, well, uh, there you have it. There's, I think this is enough of a spoiler instead of ta uh, talking about the whole thing. And let's turn off my camera and transfer this over, which I can't just copy it over because I found, for some reason, if I just try to transfer a file over and not encode it right away... For one reason or another, when you copy the files from my SD card directly to, to my computer, it 
it makes them all crappy and, and there's little clips and little weird things going on like right here you'll see like this big long green thing up here and all this weird thing real weird stuff will happen but if I encode it right from the card directly to the computer it's fine it's fine in both modes it's fine in, uh, the smaller mode I'm using now which gives me like 70 some minutes total I think <clears throat> And it's fine in high def, which only gives me like 30 minutes. But as soon as I copy it to my computer, that's when there's a problem. I encode it directly from the from the SD card. It's fine. Who knows? So I, I, I somewhat repeated part of that. And, well, I hope people... People like me sharing spoilers and journals this way instead of writing them. I th just think it's fun to do this.